Match your window of consumption with the mood you want to be in. <laughs> hey, hey, it's a beautiful day. Hey, hey, it's a beautiful day. Hey, it's a beautiful day. Hey, hey, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's so, so beautiful. What's going on? Are you amazingly beautiful, intelligent people out there? My name is CJ. And today, we're gonna talk about something interesting. If this resonates with you, hey, how are you? If not, it may just not be the information you need right now. It could also be your higher self giving you this information to listen to. Maybe you don't wanna to listen to it, but hey, it may be in front of you right now because you are ready for this type of concept or information. So without further ado, let's jump right into this. So, you know, people will say, animals, tigers, lions, alligators, they devour, they kill, they torture their prey, other animals, and they eat it. So why can't I? I'm not doing anything wrong. It's part of life. It's a circle of life. Yes, yes, it is a part of life. And you should not feel bad if that is what you like to do, if that is what you enjoy. We are going to talk about what effects can take place from the cause of eating, torturing animals. Alrighty. So, those animals that do kill their prey, torture their prey, devour their prey, they live in a lifestyle where they need to be on edge, where they need a lot of extra adrenaline. They need to be stressed out, if you will, okay? Whenever we consume animals who have been tortured, killed, afraid, and now that's running through their flesh, and then we eat the flesh that's full of adrenaline, cortisol, sorrow, guilt, shame, then we become that. Those animals who do hunt and kill their prey, they thrive, they survive off of consuming that type of energy. So it can fuel them for their next hunt, for their next meal. When you are not a being who needs or desires that extra stress, that extra tension, then it's going to present itself in your life as you being more angry more easily, as you being stressed out, as you being overworked, overwhelmed, the energy you consume will become you. So analyze, how do you want your life to be? Do you want to be gentle? Do you want to be more at peace? Do you want to not feel on edge or feel stressed out a lot? Well then, you may want to recognize the things you consume, the energy that you're eating. There are meats out there, animal flesh out there that you can eat that is less stressed and fuel of fear and low vibrations because of the way that it was killed, the way that it was raised, all right. But analyze, recognize what you want in your life, how you want to be, how you want to act how you want your mood to be and start seeing the different things you can consume that can match the energy you want to be. Back in the day, our ancestors may have needed that energy, that cortisol, that antsiness, that anxiety, that stress because they hunted. They did a lot more things in the animal kingdom, out in the jungles. So it actually worked for them, worked in their benefit to eat the flesh that was full of fear and full of cortisol because of their lifestyle and how they want it to be. Okay, certain people way, you know, back then in the villages didn't eat certain meats. They ate grains or whatnot. But either way, recognize how you want your lifestyle to be. And you can actually be in a war, an energetic battle with yourself by wanting to be more at peace or wanting to have more clarity, 
but then eating foods that aren't allowing you to be, to live that lifestyle. Eating this or eating that is not better or worse. It is what do you desire in your life? Maybe this can bring clarity to why you may be anxious, depressed, full of these emotions that you can't control or you can't get a manage on. Start to experiment on your own. Experiment how you feel when you eat more plant-based or you eat more sunlight, more prana. And then start eating animal flesh and then see how you feel. Be a scientist. That's what I have done in my life. I've been a personal scientist for self. And the things that I do work for me in the lifestyle I like to live. So take this upon yourself to experience this information I'm giving. Not just listen to it and judge it or listen to it and feel good about it. Take this information and apply the knowledge for yourself. That's really the only way that you'll deeply understand this message. Maybe now we have more clarity on how what you eat becomes you energetically. So recognize who you want to be, how you want to be, how you want your mood to be more often. And find the foods, find the sources that can match the energy you want to become. Alrighty. Pranic journey, plant-based journey, animal flesh journey, whatever journey, fruitarian journey, vegetarian journey, vegan journey, whatever you want to call it. Match your window of consumption with the mood you want to be in. <laughs> Much love to you. You are whole, you are strong, you are so magnificent. You are happy, loving, and harmonious with Mother Nature and the universal laws. You continue to realize who you want to become more and more. It becomes more clear as you get in tune with your deep self, with your higher self. And you navigate more and more to your most desired reality. It's such a beautiful world, such a beautiful game, such a beautiful play that we're in that we've desired to be a part of. So let's play this game with a lot of respect and love and joy. Don't deprive yourself of anything. You may have realized something in this video and now you're like, okay, well, I'm gonna stop doing this altogether. Live out your pleasures, okay, until they run themselves out. Be gentle with yourself. Go into this slowly. Don't just deprive yourself because that brings on a whole nother energy in itself. Have fun, be gentle, explore, experience, and most of all, be love. <laughs> Peace, my friend. Until the next video.